Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Software Inc. Alpha 10. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day because I'm certainly excited to be back with Nerdresoft where things are going very, very well indeed. We are making money everywhere. Basically, we're making money everywhere that we can. Nerdresoft OS or NSOS Mobile didn't really make a penny. NS Vision 2, currently making absolutely nothing. Nerdersoft Football, currently making absolutely nothing. But The Legend of Brian is coming in with a fairly hefty profit. If we actually have a look at our releases here, we can see The Legend of Brian has made 12 million thus far. NSOSM sold less than 10,000 units, and as a result, it made nothing. NS Vision 2 managed to make us 36 million pawns which is kind of nuts made nothing last month though and nerdersoft football over 108 million pawns followed closely by a profit from chaos engine of 106 million pawns so we're getting a lot of money from different pieces of software unfortunately we have yet to make i believe any kind of profit on an operating system yeah so nsosm was a catastrophic failure and NSOS was also a catastrophic failure. The good news, though, is that, of course, we have our operating system team who are currently working on Doors. Now, Doors is a computer operating system that is... Well, it's getting close. It's definitely getting close to where it needs to be. But we're going to give that plenty of time. We are going to try and make that as good as it can possibly be. I think we will go ahead and just outsource some reviews on it to see what the current state of it happens to be. And whilst that's going on, we are also working on uh, Bug Blocker, which is 20.29, 6.15, and needs to be 35 and 2. So it still has plenty of time to go. NS Vision 3DX is being worked on as well, needs to be 46.9, is currently 15.5. And Rocket, which I believe is our mobile game engine, is needing to be 20.5 and 4.5, it's currently 16.5 and 5.3 in code and art, respectively. So, Rocket is getting there. It's going to take a little bit more time, but it's getting there. What I would like to do, though, is look into cancelling support for some of the older pieces of software here. As long as it doesn't tell me that we're going to have problems, I don't think there's any issue just straight up cancelling support for these things. Um, there's a lot queued for those two, though. So we'll hold on with, uh, with those two and see what happens. We may have just lost a lot of favor. We may have just lost some reputation by canceling support for those pieces of software. But honestly, we don't want too much queued up there. Uh, now, currently, it seems that the review on Doors, I believe, is, is not amazing. It does still need plenty of work. It is 4.4 4 out of 10. So we'll let them just keep working on that. And I suppose today what we could do is we can continue working in the way that we've been working. We can continue pushing forward with operating systems and, and game engines and all that kind of stuff. Or we could spend a little bit of time rearranging things in, in this building over here, because I do think it could be an idea to change up some of this top floor, move the support team up here, and basically give them this entire floor to work with. Because as it stands, we do need a bigger support team, but I don't know if I necessarily want to give them uh, their own building. I don't know if that's a thing I want to do, so we'll we'll see. Uh, we'll accept those demands. Brian does not meet demand. It still made three million. Still made three million, but why does why does the Legend of Brian not meet demand? Twenty three thousand in stock, seventy seven thousand in storage. I'm not really sure why it doesn't meet demand at all, but that's fair enough. Let's go ahead and select everything in this room for the time being. We'll do a little bit of real-time building here, since this is really only just a, uh, a renovation of an existing space. So, we're going to renovate this room into some kind of meeting room. And I think what I want to do is align my grid to this wall. Just because I can, really. So, we'll align the grid to that wall. We'll go with a 3-meter end table. And I think we'll put it there. And we'll put it there. Then we can fill up all of that space like this with a few chairs, and that'll be fine. 
Uh, and we can go in with the executive chairs here. And I, I do hope people can get to those. I do, I do hope they can get to those. It's going to be really awkward if they can't. Although I'm not really sure how they would navigate around this way. But I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll totally find out. We might need to... We might need to rearrange this room, but hopefully that'll work out. Either way, let's go ahead and reset the grid. And let's say that we want... Oh, what do we want? Let's go to office here. And we'll throw some bookcases under this wall. And maybe a clock up onto that one. As for lighting, I'm thinking we go fairly simple. So we can go ahead and just put a standing lamp in that corner. And then we could do a couple of wall lights just around the place as well. So something a bit like that. And I think that'll be fine for a fairly basic meeting room. I realize I could have used this space, but that's totally fine. Uh, I'm also realizing that our utilities are up here. So this is going to be a very, very strange space. Either way, let's go ahead and merge those rooms together. We'll merge those rooms together. And we'll merge those rooms together as well. And those are going to be three separate spaces for the support team. Obviously a little bit weird that we're doing some different spaces like this, but I think that's fine. I think that's totally, totally fine. Let's go ahead and start designing this uh, larger room. And honestly, we're probably just going to want to cram people into this. It's not the most pleasant in the world to just be like, hey, you know, you're going in there. It's not going to be not going to be too happy, but... We'll just go ahead and sort of cram them in here as best we can, because we do need a lot of them. We do need a lot of people on the support team, so we're going to do things this way. And I think we'll do things the same way on the other side as well, with all the desks going around the walls like that. And I realize this room here can actually be cloned, so that's going to be beautiful. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, some tables in there. We can actually go ahead and just double up a little bit as well. And then we could, by all means, throw some tables down along this wall as well. So I think that'll be a pretty good space. We'll get some chairs in there. Just leave a gap every uh, now and then. And I think we can maybe go ahead and just take that desk out. So we got three people there. We've got four, five. We have six, seven and 8, then 9, 10, 11, and 12. So 12 people in that room, 24 if we duplicate it. So that's good. And I think we'll give them laptops just because, because I can really. So we'll give them a few laptops there. Let's just move that one. So a few laptops around the place like that. Why are these, why have I got these desks facing the wrong way? That's ever so slightly annoying. But there we go. We'll get those around like so, I think the other room we can probably get a decent number of people into as well, since it is a bit bigger. I mean, obviously, they're not going to be too happy about the fact that uh, they're sort of crammed in there a little bit. But uh, they are just going to have to deal with it, I'm afraid. They are just going to have to deal with it. So let's go ahead and just separate the desks to make sure they all sort of have their own space. Which will hopefully make them a little bit happier. Then you guys can be split up like that as well. So that right there is going to be one space. I think we will recolor things. So select all the tables. Let's make them a nice white color. We'll select all of the room dividers and we'll make those a nice white color as well. Uh, the chairs, we can select those. We'll make the seat, I think, some kind of purple color since it matches the walls a little bit. So we'll go like that for a dark sort of purple with the uh, bikes and supports being white. Then all of the laptops will get selected and we'll recolor those to be white with sort of darker keys there. So that'll be fine. Fairly basic looking room. We can go ahead and put some uh, some table lamps into a couple of spots just to uh, shake things up a little bit. That one can be moved like so. And then a couple of... We can get a standing lamp over there. Which I think looks good. And then a couple of ceiling lights can go around the middle as well just like that so there we go that room's nicely lit up it is probably going to need a clock there and possibly one there and then maybe a little bit of decoration as well just to make them a little happier so a plant a plant and a plant with a cactus and let's say a cactus there as well 
So I think that'll make the room quite nice. I think they'll enjoy that. So what we can go ahead and do is select everything in there. We can duplicate everything in there, rotate it around, and then it just goes into that room there. Absolutely perfect. So there we go. We have room for 24 people on the support team and then whatever this room is going to be. Now, this room's obviously a bit bigger, so I think what we can do is just... We'll go for a similar layout. Go for something like that. And then... I guess we could probably get some desks along this wall over here as well. I don't think that'll hurt, so... Maybe something like that? Could probably get one there as well. And then one over here too. Be nice to get one there, but I don't think we can actually. Never mind. All right, let's get the chairs in. Actually, you know what we should do? We should duplicate the chairs in the other room to make sure they're the right color. All righty, so all of the work up here has been done. We have room for 40 people on the support team, which is probably still not going to be enough. But I think it'll do the job. You know, I think it'll be decent. We also have room for a support team leader in here. So what I'm looking forward to is actually seeing them all come upstairs and start working in the new space. Uh, I realize they're also going to be doing that at the start of the year 2000. We are passing into the new millennium. And are we going to make money in the first month of the new millennium is the question I've got to ask. The answer, of course, being yes, we are. We did make a little bit of money. Brian's still not meeting sales, though, which I'm really surprised by, actually. Really, really, really surprised by that. Uh, I guess we could continue printing Legend of Brian. Uh, set the maximum on that to be, to be 250,000. That's no, 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 250,000. So there we go. We'll start printing a few more. See how that plays out. And uh, I do believe the, oh, they can get in there. Perfect. So are the support team still working down here? What are you, what are you doing? You're the OS. Why are you working in there? Why is there one of the OS? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Support. Support. Why are you guys working in there? That room is not for you anymore. Can we limit that to be like a, a lounge or something? You're supposed to be working up here. Unless there's a reason you can't. Not really sure what that reason would be, though. Support leaders, that's why. Limit usage to anyone. So this one here is support anyone. This one's going to be limited to anyone as well. And this one is going to be limited to anyone as well. So the support team should now be able to come upstairs and work out of the new space, which is fantastic. And I guess what we can also do is go to manage teams, go to support, and uh, let's see here. Support, HR management. We have 11 programmers. We now want 40 of them. We want 40 programmers. And uh, we'll swap their salaries out to be high so that they maybe work a little bit better there. So let's see. We're up to 41 people on the support team. That is absolutely what we want. Let's just go ahead and select all of the chairs in there. There's 12, and then we'll select all of the chairs in there. Brings us up to 28. Select all the chairs in there. Brings us up to 40. Fantastic. Would have been a little bit awkward if it wasn't. But there we go. We have an increased support team who can now handle a lot more than they could previously, which hopefully means that we're going to see the support capabilities of the company just in general uh, improve substantially. There we go. So we got all these people working in here. Looks like the amount... Yeah, the support tickets are going way, way down. Look at that. We can absolutely keep up with support at this point. So hopefully what that'll do is improve the general favor we have with our customers. In other news, though, let's have another little check into Bug Blocker, which is still a ways away from being done. Doors still a ways away from being done. Uh, it is currently assigned to... I really dislike that it wants me to market this thing. Uh, when would we want to release doors? Definitely not April 2000. 2007, rather. I reckon we could release doors in January of 2002. I reckon we can do 2002. 
So let's say January 2002 is when Doors is going to be released. That'll give us a year and 11 months. Yeah, gives us two years pretty much. As for marketing, I mean, I realize it wants me to start putting out press releases and all that kind of stuff, but can I do... I, I, I don't want to market it right now. It'd be nice if we could maybe say, you know, stop prioritizing marketing. Uh, let's see here. So that's the... I can't see what team's working on something either. So the core team's currently doing Vision 3DX, which is a ways away from being done as well. I wonder if we need to improve the core team, because they seem a little bit slow on... Well, actually, they're, they're relatively quick, I suppose. Probably just a larger team would do it. As for Rocket, I mean, where are we looking here? 20.5, 4.5? It's actually ready to move into beta. Let's get some reviews of Rocket and see what happens there. Because I'm kind of curious to see if we can maybe move our mobile game engine into beta. 9 out of 10. Yeah, absolutely move it into beta. Let's, let's get that promoted. And what we can do is... I mean, once Rocket's done, we can start building games for mobile devices. Which I think will be huge. I absolutely think that'll be huge. An employee is not very happy. Uh, it's going to be you. You are a game dev. Game dev 1 specifically. Is game dev 1 even doing anything currently? Game dev 1's there. Who are you? You're the game dev 2 leader. Wait, what? Game dev 2. Game dev 1. That room is game dev 2 anyone. That's game dev 1 anyone. Why have we got some game dev... Oh, yeah, they're split across. Uh, yeah, that, that had me slightly confused there. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So our game dev teams are... I don't think game dev 1 is doing anything at all. So could we maybe get them working? I, I don't think they can do anything until we release Rocket. I, I don't think that's a thing we can do. So I think we need to release Rocket before they can start making things, which is fair enough. I mean, is there anything we can get them to do for a mobile device? I, I really don't know. Also, speaking of mobile devices, if we look at phone operating systems. Touch is apparently available. I don't think that was available before on our, our recent mobile device. GUI, 3D rendering. I don't think that was available either. I feel like we probably want to do this. I prob we probably want to make another mobile device here, or mobile operating system. So let's give that to the OS team. Going to take more than a year. And it is going to be a follow-up to NSOS M. So, M2, I guess? NSOS M2? I don't know. Uh, you know what? We'll call it Doors Mobile. Doors Mobile. And we'll make it, you know, whatever price it needs to be. Let's do 99. 99 flat. It's going to run on internal hosting. It's going to be built on dev 1. And I think that'll be fine. It's every feature we can get in a mobile operating system. Which is good. This is, you know, we, we can see what we had previously. We didn't have any of, like, I, or did we have multi-threading? I have no idea. Whatever we had, you know, we're, we're doing this. Doors Mobile is going to be a thing. So start developing that. We'll hopefully make it good. As far as Game Dev 1 goes, I mean... Can we maybe make a game here? Like, what's the most recent game engine? There's the Fast Engine. Has a decent number of active users, actually. Uh, this one here is a little older with more active users, but I think we'll use... Let's use the Fast Engine. Let's, let's build... Let's just build a game. 2D graphics, apparently. Let's see what happens if we try to put everything into it. So all of that is going to take OS more than a year. Game Dev 1, it's going to take more than a year. Okay, so 2D Editor. We could use Vision 2. Has a lot of users. It's great as well. Uh, audio Tool. I don't think we've released one of these in a while. Wave Studio Pro is... Yeah, Wave Studio Pro is almost 10 years old. So I think we might have to use this one, Record Maker 5. I think we just use Record Maker 5. I mean, obviously, it's not the best news in the world that uh, 
we're using different uh, different things there, different uh, companies' uh, software, but I think we're just going to have to do it. We'll also go ahead and put it on all of those operating systems, and I think it is going to be a follow-up to The Legend of Brian. So I think The Legend of Brian, and then we're going to make it uh, 49 flat. It could just be The Legend of Brian 2. Uh, but we'll call it The Legend of Brian, a Brian to the past. Pask. Past. Sure. There we go. The Legend of Brian, a Brian to the past. Oh, God. Oh. Sure. Sure, we'll develop it. Game Dev 1, start working on that. Uh, Doors Mobile is actually coming along pretty quickly there, which is beautiful to see. Absolutely beautiful to see. And I guess now that Rocket is in... Oh, someone died. Did they get paid anything? No. No, they did not. Okay. Do we not... Do we not... Do we not pay people these kind of things? Do we, is that not a thing we do? Employee benefits, that'll be where it is. Yeah, that right there will be the problem. That'll be, that'll be the problem right there. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, so what are we gonna do per month here? Let's do like, thir let's do like 30 per month goes in your pension. Life insurance. We can do like 50 grand per death. 50, whatever. Health insurance on hospitalization will give like 10 grand. Minimum raise per year is going to be a minimum of 100, a minimum of 60. Severance pay if we fire someone can be like, I don't know, 50%. They can have one month of vacation. They get 50% pay on vacation. Now they get 100% pay. Why not? And they do get <clears throat> they do get free food. Uh, we could do company cars. Give them some nice company cars. Now let's let's just do that. Let's just let's just do that and see what happens. That that might that might cause some problems, but whatever. I didn't know employee benefits was even a thing. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't even know it was a thing. So. Hopefully that'll oh my oh wow. Is that are those company cars? Are those all of our company cars? Oh, amazing. Look at that. I don't know why they're all green, but okay. Okay. Let's go let's go no no no. 15 let's let's spend a lot here. 15,000 per company car. Every employee is getting a 15,000 pound company car. Absolutely. Absolutely giving them expensive company cars. Uh, let's see here. Legend of Brian 2 is about to be ready to develop there. So develop. Doors Mobile almost ready. Which is great news. Very, very good news there. Are those the new company cars? Those sports looking things? Because that would be amazing if they were. That would be absolutely amazing if they were. Let's see here. So what are we what are we going to be looking at tomorrow? Are we going to lose money on the cars? Oh my god, they're sports cars. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Oh wow, that's neat. That's so cool. All right, so they've all got company cars now. That's that's excellent. Right. Doors Mobile is ready for development, so we'll do that. And the Legend of Brian, a Brian to the past, needs 25.9, 21.1. So we'll be working on that for a while. Doors Mobile, we'll keep looking at. The original, the, the first Doors here is almost ready for beta. Rocket, I think we can probably mark it and say, is going to release. Let's try and push it a little sooner. Let's try and do October this year. Actually, let's do November. Let's do November this year. Gives us six months. So that's fine. We can start putting together press releases. I think we'll start putting them together. We're not necessarily going to release it just yet. But we'll start doing some press releases just to see what happens. I love that everyone's driving like a, a green sports car now. I don't know why it's chosen green as the color, but I like it. 
That's that's so cool. I love that. Oh, I love it. Look at that. There's a couple of people who don't have a green sports car, but whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and put that press release out now. That got like no followers. That's fine. We'll put out a press build as well. And we'll see where that goes. Now, we could probably stop marketing NS Vision 2 and NS Football. But if they have different, if they have systems we can port them to, we could start making sales back. NSOS 2000, that's the original name of Doors, if I remember right. And then Nerdsoft Football has nothing to go to. Okay, that's fine. That's, that's totally fine. Um... Hopefully we can get some interest in Rocket. I mean, it, it's not really get anyone to sell to is the thing. We are making it for our own mobile operating system, which had less than 10,000 people buy it. So that's a little awkward. Just a little teensy bit awkward there, but I mean, I guess, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see what comes of it. I guess we'll find out. Uh, Doors Mobile. Yeah, that's going to take a while. Vision 3DX is very, very close to being able to move into beta. Doors is also very close to being able to move into beta. 73.4 is needed. It's 69 currently. I'm excited. I'm definitely, definitely excited. I'm also not too concerned about losing 37 followers on Rocket. I don't think that's going to be much of a big deal. Uh, as for doors, though, I mean, should we maybe look into having not 24-7 development? But if we were to maybe set things up so that, you know, the, the OS team finishes work at, say, 6 o'clock or 5 o'clock, and then OS team 2 could come in at, you know, an hour later. So there's an hour of downtime between when one team leaves and another, another team comes in. That could maybe be something to do because that would give us more development time. Obviously, like I said, not 24-7 development, but development time nonetheless, which I'm very, very tempted by. Also, Legend of Brian 1 is making ridiculous money. 66 million. It has sold 1.8 million units. I want to look at the details of it. What's the potential consumer reach on this? Will it tell me the percent potential consumer reach on this? Uh, let's see here. Release was 1999. What's what's the potential the potential reach? Is there it doesn't seem to be any actually. It doesn't seem to tell me anymore, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Franchise used in features, reputation units, income. Yeah, I don't I don't think it tells me. It's got 1.3 million active users though, which is pretty good. Definitely not going to complain about 1.3 million active users. Uh Rocket actually releases next month, which I mean that's that's kind of good news, you know. We're finally going to push Rocket out to to market. So we can see how that plays out. Uh and I do think I am going to I think I will experiment with a second OS team. So OS 2 is what we'll go for here. We'll add that team. And let's see. OS finishes at 4 o'clock. So you guys are going to start at uh, 5. You're going to start at you're going to start at 5. So 17. So you guys finish at 4, you start at 5. So 8, so 5, uh let's 1 2 3 4 5 6 seven hours of so five until midnight you do it you do six you do eight hours so maybe five until one i guess that could work for os2 and then what we'll do is assign these rooms to the two different teams so os and os2 both work there this is os leader which is going to be OS and OS2. Okay. Let's get an employee in to run the new team. It's going to be high salary, good specialization. We'll spend a lot of money looking for them. And you're going to be going on OS2. So skill-wise, we've got Marlon Leonard. He's a bit of a fast learner. He's independent. 
uh, and he's quite stressed. Uh, Maureen Pope is cocky and goofy. Fabian Woods is an, a flirty extrovert. You know what? I think we'll go with Fabian. That's fine. You're going to be hired for OS2. And what we're going to need to do with you is make sure you are actually set to be the leader. And you're also going to be educated in HR management for six months. Now, let's see here. OS is currently doing six items of work. I guess core team is as well. I guess four of those are technically marketing. So that's fine. That's not too much of a big deal. Uh, October is pretty much done, which is fairly good news because it means that Rocket is going to be releasing this month. Just got 8 million on Legend of Brian. That is ridiculous. Uh, let's go ahead then and release Rocket to the world. We will start marketing. We're going to do 20,000 on Rocket. We will order some copies. We'll do 150,000. I know that's sort of excessive, but we'll do 150,000 just to begin with. And we'll move this up to there. So yeah, the support team can manage that. Uh, I don't know if we want to... We, we could probably stop marketing NS Vision 2 at this point. So we'll stop marketing that. Nerdsoft Football, we'll stop marketing that. And I guess we'll see what Rocket ends up doing. Hopefully something good. Doors is also very, very close to being able to go out. 73.4 is needed. We are at 72.4, so... Possibly next month. Which will be beautiful, beautiful stuff. Uh, let's also just check here. I think everybody, everybody's gone and the new operating system team leader isn't in. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. They're in education for six months. Rocket made 10,000 pounds. That is not amazing, but well priced. Probably not going to move many copies up the marketing game. Need to build a fan base. Port it to modern operating systems. Okay. So Rocket is great. It is a game engine. It is for mobile devices. And NSOSM, it made a little bit of money last month. So I guess, I mean, we, we could port this. We could port this. We could port it to everything, pretty much. And we could potentially make a lot of money with it. That's actually really tempting to say that we just port it to everything. Because that, that will just make us, like, this right here gives us so many potential customers. That's so tempting. But I kind of want to develop something on it, you know? I kind of want to push people to... Oh, I don't know. I mean, if we do a game and we use Rocket, we can only do it on NSOSM, which has so few active users. And it is, it's... It's about to be two years old. I mean, we, we could try it, I guess. You know, if we do 2D graphics, you know, all of this stuff here. Local multiplayer, mod support, cutscenes. We can use Vision 2 for it. We can use Record Maker 5 for it. It's going to take more than a year for Game Dev 1 to do it. Uh, it is, it's an RPG. We could do a sports game. Could do a sports game. I have a follow-up to Nerdsoft Football. And we'll do... Nerdsoft Football 2. It's gonna be a mobile game. Apparently it's gonna be an open world mobile game. With physics. It's an open world mobile sports game. Sure. Let's make it, uh, let's make it 25, 25 pounds. Sure, let's do it. Apparently, the last one had advanced input. Interesting. The last one also had multiplayer. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, dear. Um, okay. This one is going to be Nerdsoft Football um, Mobile. We'll, we'll do that. We'll do, we'll do Nerdsoft Football Mobile. Or Mobile. Mobile, Mobile, whatever. Sure. Sure. We'll do that. Uh, we're taking out multiplayer, and we're taking out advanced input, but it is for mobile devices in, like, the early 2000s, so that's fine. Start developing it. It's gonna be risky. That's gonna be risky, but it might, it might very well go on to, um, 
Where where is game dev one right now? I guess mostly on education or something. I don't know. What are you doing? You're game dev one. You're an artist. What are you working on? Did I give? Oh, I gave Brian to game dev one. Okay, give this to uh, game dev two then. There we go. So game dev two can start doing Nerdsoft football mobile. Um, and I guess we'll see, does Rocket happen to make any money this month? You know, now that the words got out a little bit. Probably not. Probably not. 771 pounds. Yeesh. Okay, sure. I do believe Doors is ready to go, though. 73.48 is needed. 73.41. There we go. Doors is ready to push into... Beta one year before launch as well. That time that timing was perfect. Right, let's go ahead and develop that. And football mobile needs 15.2 and 15.9. I don't think that's gonna take long at all. That is not gonna take long at all. We can get that in uh, just a, a handful of months, I reckon. I just really, I really wish. I mean, here's the thing. Rocket can make money, you know? If we if we port it to everything else, it will make money. But we kind of want... We kind of want to be able to push, I think, Football Mobile out onto... Wait, The Legend of Brian no longer has anyone to sell to, really? Wow. That's rough that you literally sell to everybody that can be sold to. And then all of a sudden, it's like, yeah, you're done. That is rough. Uh, port it to Tiger 10 at least. And then port, I guess, Chaos Engine to Tiger 10 and the OS. So that will open up Legend of Brian to uh, some other systems to make a little bit more money before it's completely dead in the water. Well, not dead in the water. It still has a lot of active users, but it's just not selling anymore is what I should say. Anyway, it's been ported. We should see some money come in here. Hopefully. Absolutely nothing, actually. That's that's kind of surprising. That's actually kind of surprising. I mean, at least we're, we're working on the sequel, so that's fine. Uh, Doors is well underway on beta. Football Mobile is actually like halfway done already in terms of code. So that's good. The art is lacking a little bit, but sure. Legend of Brian, a Brian of the past. 25.921, it's at 27 and 16, so it's very nearly done as well. Doors Mobile needs 53 and 3, it's at 27 and 16. Interesting. And 3DX needs 46.9, it's currently at 49.0. So let's get some reviews done of that real quick. And let's also move the marketing for Rocket up to there. So yeah, we'll get these reviews done. We'll see what they think of Vision 3DX. It's a 9.4 out of 10. I think it's ready to promote. And I think Vision 3DX, we can say... I mean, let's, let's see here. When is... Doors is releasing in 2002. So let's see if we can release 3DX this year in December and then immediately port it onto doors the next month. Gives us nine months to do it, that's fine. That's totally fine, that's actually totally fine. Uh, doors Mobile, again, is, it's gonna be a while, but that's all right. The OS team is focusing on doors first, then they'll do doors mobile. As for the new Brian game, I mean, you know, we'll, we'll sit on it, that's fine. It's, it's, it'll get done eventually. Nerdisoft Football Mobile is, is kind of the big deal here. Rocket no longer has any users to sell to. Oh my god. That's, that's, that's pitiful. That is shameful that Rocket did so badly. Oi. Uh, here's my question though. Does OS2 have its leader back yet? No, you're back next month. Okay. Well, that's fine. Um, we're gonna need how many of each? I don't remember how many of each we need. Um, let's just select all the chairs here. So it was 28 of each. So that's fine. 28 of each will we'll do fine. 
We can totally bring them all in, see what happens. Uh, so I do believe OS 2's leader should not be done with... That's OS. That's not what I wanted. OS 2's leader is at work in eight hours. Okay. Let's go to OS 2. Let's go to HR management. Turn it on. You're going to handle salaries and wages or complaints. Wages and complaints. There we go. I swear I can speak. Uh, the team leader, interestingly, hasn't taken a course. Okay. So 28, 28, 28, 28. Preferred age is going to be apparently not changing. Uh, the salary is going to be high. The education level high. Education cooldown four uh, for six at a time. Duration six months. Do 12 at a time. Do 14 at a time. So that should do for those guys. And we'll see how that plays out. Unless you are the team leader. Unless you have to come back to work before you've technically done that uh, that education. Which may very well be the case. That's that's weird though. Yeah, you are the leader. Okay. So I guess I guess Fabian Woods has to come to work before they've technically done HR management. A little frustrating, but alright. Uh, so Fabian, where are you? Where, where are oh, you? You're over here, aren't you? No, I actually have no idea where this dude is. He's definitely not in his office. Is that the car? It might be. Let's see here. Uh, OS2 employees does have its employees. Where are you? I have no idea where this guy is. Fabian. You're not in there. You're not in there. Are you over here? No. You are at work working, but you have no tasks assigned. Are you in one of the development rooms? Oh, there you are. Is it because that computer is assigned? Interesting. So you don't want to use that room. Okay. Maybe that team needs to come in a little later. Maybe like two hours later. Just so that all of the computers are free. And I guess we'll see what happens there. Uh, what we can go ahead and do is assign OS2 on doors and put uh, OS2 on doors mobile as well. And I guess we'll see how that plays out. I'm a little annoyed that uh, this guy decided he was going to just stay in there. But sure. That's perfectly fine, I suppose. Uh, Fabian Woods, yeah, you can have a raise. Sure. That's no problem, bud. So all you guys are coming in to do your thing. We have Vision 3DX releasing this December. We have Doors releasing in January. No money on Rocket. No money in the NSOSM. No money on the Legend of Brian anymore. I think Legend of Brian, we can probably just end marketing on that.